In our first and second lessons, we learned the basics of developing desktop applications with functions without creating a class. But creating a desktop application with only functions causes us to encounter problems in detailed projects. For this reason, let's create a class in this lesson and create a similar project that we did in the previous lesson. Import the sys module to send arguments to the application from the command line. Import other necessary files to create the project and perform the necessary operations. Create a class and send QMain window, the basis for desktop projects, to the class you created. The procedures we will do after this stage are the same as what you learned in the first and second lessons. Let's create a main function inside the class we created. Let's create the initial size, title and photo of the desktop application. When uploading the photo to the desktop application, make sure that the photo file is inside the project file. Create main function outside of class to create desktop application. To close the program when the close button is clicked, send the necessary argument from the sys module we imported. Generate a desktop application from the class we created. Show the application on the screen. Enter the required code to close the project where the close button is clicked. Call the function and run your code. The process is exactly the same as the first video. The only difference is that instead of building our desktop app with functions, we built it with class. In this lesson, we will use the class we created to send the necessary arguments and commands to our desktop application. Now as in the second video, let's add a label, text box and button to our desktop application. Let's create a function for this. Let's create a label for the name and set the label name and position. Likewise, let's make the adjustments for the last name. Now let's create a text box for the name and set its position. Likewise, let's create a text box for the last name. When I click the button in the desktop application, I want the first and last name to appear on the screen. For this, create a button, specify its name and position. Create a label to display the first and last name you entered. Define the function we created in the main function in the class. Let's run the program and see what happens. As we can see we have created the label, text box and button. Now let's assign a task to the button. For this, let's create a click function and send the names and surnames of the text boxes to the label. Use clicked and connect methods to make this function work when we click the button. Use the function we created here. Run the program. Enter the first and last name in the text boxes respectively. When you click the button, you will see the name and surname you entered on the label. We'll continue to learn how to make desktop apps in the following videos of the playlist. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. Do not forget to follow our social media accounts in order not to miss the posts and videos about programming.